Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can round numbers to different places. So let's take a look at an example. Round 28,453 to the nearest thousand. Now the first thing that you should do is to underline the thousands place so you can focus on the digit that you're going to be rounding. So the digit in the thousands place is the 8. Now draw an arrow to your next number. The next number is a 4 and this is the number that tells me what to do with the 8. If this number is below 5 then I keep this number the same. If this number is 5 or above then I would bump the 8 up to a 9. Well this number is 4 so that means I keep the number an 8, but I, can't, I have to fill in the rest of these digits with 0 so that my answer is 28,000. If I didn't put these zeros in, all I would have is 28, and that would be way too small. So I need the zeros to hold the place value. Let's try another example. Round 83,465 to the nearest hundred. Well this time I should underline the digit in the hundreds place which is the four. Now I'll draw an arrow to my next number, the six, and this six is greater than, uh, greater than or equal to five and that tells me that I'm going to have to bump this four up. So, so far I have 83,000 and I bump the 4 up to a 5 and I still need two zeros to hold my place value. So this 83,465 would round to 83,500. Let's try one more example. Round 78,210 to the nearest 10,000. Well, the digit in the ten thousands place is a 7. I'll draw an arrow to my next number, which is an 8. And again, this number tells me that I have to bump my 7 up to an 8. All these remaining digits must be replaced with zeros so that my rounded number is 80,000. If I didn't have these zeros, my rounded number would only be 8 and that is way too small so I need these zeros to hold the place value. I would recommend that you always underline the place that you are rounding to and then draw an arrow to the next digit to remind you which digit will help you decide what to do and how to round your number.